We were both working in an office, not enjoying our jobs at all. Um, we were both doing a buying and merchandise and, and retail, which sounds all right, but it was just very stressful. Um, and then I approached Lydia one day because she used to do bake cakes at the office um, and asked if she wanted to open a cake shop. And that's how it started, really. <laughs> <laughs> Becky'd half written a business plan, so that, the hard bit was out of the way, really. Money was the main problem, I reckon. Um, we had Becky had some money to put in, and then we sourced like an independent investor. And then we had to go to banks, and that's what we used to do in our pretend doctor's appointments from work, like rush to like Barclays or someone. And then you just to present what you were going to do and your idea and things, and where you wanted to do it and why and things. Getting funding from banks was quite difficult. You had to jump through a lot of hoops, and they expected a lot to give a little bit. And then eventually we secured some money. That's quite handy. Yeah, and then. <laughs> So um, we had to get a lease on a premises and commercial property law is very different from just renting a house what we were used to. So that was a bit of a, a challenge for us because we had no idea. <laughs> they were handing us these forms and we had no idea what was <laughs> what was written down and then what we were agreeing to. So that was quite a bit of a learning curve for us but we managed to secure premises. A lot of people didn't agree with us doing it to start off with. They were, they were, you know, it was a high risk thing to do and we were in a comfortable job so we you know, on decent futures, decent, <laughs> decent money really. I made a business plan up, and I, you know, used Leeds Met and the things I had on the startup website to um, put a template together and everything. And also, I did a module in my course on it, so I'd already done that by the time I asked you to join me because I can't bake. So. I just bought the cake. Yeah, you just bought the cakes <laughs> for parties. So. <laughs> we did a lot of eBay stuff, didn't we? Yeah, like, I used to it, was it was very eBay. done on a budget, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Like all the crockery and things, I just get getting delivered to work, and I was like, I just like plates, so yeah. <laughs> got a sign went up, yeah. got coffee machines delivered. No, it was scary. It was just you were spending money and not making any, so it was a stressful three weeks. That's why I was so quick to open the shop. But it was nice to think we had a handle on the money, but we didn't. Did we? No, we, we didn't. Just, it you just, just spend it. Just went through your hands. <laughs> like it just runs through. <laughs> it was horrible. It was really hard um, opening the business in the early stages because we didn't have a day off for about a year and we're working seven days a week. So I think anyone who's starting a business um, should definitely consider that factor. You know, you, everyone says it's going to be hard starting a business, but when you're actually in the midst of it, um, it's harder than you actually think it's going to be. So you've got to just sit tight, put the hard work in, and you will get the rewards eventually. But um, I would just say go and do it. It's the best thing that I've ever done. get support where you can from any resources. I think we were pretty stubborn and narrow-minded and probably should have listened to more people along the way. Um, I think you need to be a bit, you've got an idea in your head, but you need to be open-minded to other people's ideas and um, think, you know, at least give them a try because we wouldn't be here, to be honest, if we hadn't no. listened to some people. But people have come around, haven't they? People who were against yeah. what we were doing True. have totally changed their minds and now fully like, think it's the best thing we've ever done. We opened Extra Covers upstairs um, in March, I think it was, of last year. It's definitely worthwhile doing. It was a big expense, but I think in the long run it will pay off. We had to do it sometime, so it was a big investment. Um, I guess there's more opportunities. Like we do a comedy night. Yeah, we've got a lot of space, food, haven't we? People put on a comedy night and then like, we get like, a lot of Hindus. They just want to do like cake decorating or have like afternoon tea. Whereas before, they'd, just, they'd fill you down to yeah. like four tables and we started. It's a lot more versatile, so. isn't it, now, the space we've got. So we've got online orders, we've got a website we want to um, do more things on and do more events here as well. So the plan is to free us up from doing the running and the day-to-day -day now. We've got a bit more income from upstairs um, and then look at expanding those avenues and get it running more smoothly so we can keep control of the costs and try and drum them down. I did retail marketing at university and um, I did a few modules on finance and I did a business plan module and I did marketing and things. So all of those kind of modules in my course, um, although they weren't applied to self-employment, could be applied to self-employment. So um, we looked how to keep books, you know, end of year accounts, um, how to do a business plan, um, just a basic template, what I need to include, you know, things like that, which um, we didn't really cover it um, at school or something, so it's really helped us like build on the business. So the business plan we went to the bank to ask for the money in the first place was from I took from my course at Leeds Met, and um, we added obviously our ideas into the template and things. But it really helped get well get us here today, really. <laughs>